Let us have implicit differentiation. Uh, the usual functions given to us are y functions of x, uh, written explicitly as functions of x. For example, y equals 2x plus 1 plus 4x, uh, 2x, plus 4, 2x squared plus 4x plus 1, y equals sine of x plus 1, y equals e raised to 5x plus 1 raised to 6, or y equals 2 over x squared plus 8. So, so what you can see here is always y here on the left on the left side of the equation. And uh, uh, those with x are here on the right side. But sometimes y is not written explicitly as functions of x. Y are written implicitly as functions of x at times like these. x cubed plus ln of xy plus y, y cubed equals 2 y squared plus 2y minus x equals 4, x squared plus cosine y squared plus 4, and xy plus y squared equals x squared. So as what you can see here, uh, y and x are uh, together sometimes on one side of uh, the equation and sometimes even in one expression. So here, uh, it's difficult to, to write this as uh, y equals something in terms of x. Although we can try, uh, let's say, uh, here in this example and this, but uh, it's still uh, a bit difficult. And these two, the first and the last, are really difficult. So we call these functions uh, functions of y written implicitly as functions of x. So if that's the case, uh, we, uh, we call this implicit functions. So we need implicit differentiation. So in implicit differentiation, we have to be reminded of the following. The derivative of x is 1, but the derivative of y is not simply 1, but 1 times dy dx. That is by applying the chain rule. Uh, if you are uh, getting the derivative of x with respect to x, it's simply 1. But the derivative of y with respect to x is 1 times the derivative of y with respect to x. So that's dy dx. So if you're asked to find the derivative with respect to x of 2x, that is simply 2. The derivative of x cubed with respect to x is 3x squared. And the derivative of sine x with respect to x is cosine x. But if you are taking the derivative with respect to x of 2y, it's not simply 2. It's 2 times dy dx because you need to apply the chain rule that uh, y is still uh, in terms of x. So 2 the derivative of 2y is 2 times the derivative of y. So this one. So if you have y cubed, that's 3y squared dy dx. And for sine y, cosine y dy dx. So we are applying here the chain rule. So always remember that if your term is in terms of y, you should always have a dy dx attached to the derivative. If your term is in terms of y, there's a dy dx attached to the derivative. So this is what we're this is uh, what we're going to use in implicit differentiation. Okay, let's answer the examples given. Okay, first let us uh, find the derivative of y with respect to x if y squared equals 5x. So what we're going to do here is we will just take the derivative of both sides of the equation with respect to x. So the deriv take the derivative of y squared with respect to x and take the derivative of 5x with respect to x. So the derivative of y squared is 2y, but since it's in terms of y, so you have to attach dy over dx there because that is by applying the chain rule. And then the derivative of 5x with respect to x is simply 5. Since we are solving for dy dx, divide both sides by 2y, we will get dy dx equals 5 over 2y. Example number 2, find dy dx if x squared plus y squared equals 10. So take the derivative of both sides. So if you take the derivative of the sum of x squared and y squared, you just... I uh, take the derivative of each term. Okay, so the derivative of x squared is 2x, applying the power rule. And the derivative of y squared is, of course, 2y 
dy dx. So we should attach dy dx because the term has a y. And the derivative of a constant 10 is 0. And since we are solving for dy dx, uh, separate that from the other terms. So uh, you have to uh, add negative 2x to both sides of the equation and you will have 2y dy dx equals negative 2x or just by transferring positive 2x to the other side you will get negative 2x and since you are solving for dy dx divide both sides by 2y you will get dy dx equals negative 2x over 2y and then you can cancel 2 and 2 here so uh, we have uh, negative x over y. Let us have example number 3. Find dy dx if y squared plus 2y minus x equals 4. So this is our example there. Okay, take the derivative of each term. Derivative of y squared is 2y dy dx. Derivative of 2y is 2 dy dx. Derivative of negative x is negative 1. Derivative of 4 is 0. And then... Since we are solving for dy dx, we have two terms here with dy dx. Factor out dy dx. And you will get 2y plus 2 times dy dx equals positive 1. Because this negative 1 here, you put to the other side. That's going to be positive 1. And then divide both sides by 2y plus 2. And dy dx is 1 over 2y plus 2. So just always remember that if you're differentiating a term with y... With respect to x, just put dy dx after the derivative because this is the derivative of the outer function and this is the derivative of the inner function. Example number four, find dy dx if x squared plus cosine y squared equals four. So derivative of x squared is 2x. Derivative of cosine y squared is negative sine y squared times the derivative of y squared. So the derivative of y squared is 2y dy dx equals 0. Since we're solving for dy dx, so put 2x to the other side, you will get negative 2y sine y squared dy dx equals negative 2x. So here you just write 2y first and then copy this. And then divide both sides by negative 2y sine y squared, you will have negative 2x over negative 2y sine y squared, and negative 2 is a common factor, and you can cancel. So what's left on the numerator is x, and the denominator is y sine y squared. Another example, example number 5. Find dy dx if xy plus y squared equals x squared. So what is the derivative of xy? Here we have xy, a product of x and y. So we need to apply the product rule. The product rule states that the derivative of a product of two expressions or two functions is uh, derivative of the first times the second plus uh, the first times the derivative of the second. So we have, what's the derivative of x? That's 1 times the second y, copy y, plus copy x, and then derivative of y is dy dx, or 1 dy dx, plus derivative of y squared is 2y dy dx, and the derivative of x squared is 2x. And then combine those with dy dx, factor dy dx, and then... Uh, those without dy dx put to the other side. So if you will factor dy dx here, you will have x plus 2y times dy dx equals 2x. And then this is positive y put to the other side. It's going to be negative y. And divide both sides by this expression here so that you will have dy dx on the left. So dy dx is 2x minus y over x plus 2y y plus 5y equals 4x plus 3. So we need to apply here again the product rule. So the first one here is 2x squared and the second one is y. So the derivative of that is derivative of 2x squared, that's 4x, times copy y. And then copy 2x squared times the derivative of y is dy dx. And then the derivative of 5y is 5dy dx. 
and the derivative of 4x is 4, derivative of 3 is 0. And then factor dy dx, so you will have 2x squared plus 5 times dy dx equals 4. And then here you put to the other side, that's going to be negative 4xy. And then divide both sides by this expression. So you will have dy dx equals 4 minus 4xy over 2x squared plus 5. So that's it. Uh, I hope that uh, this... Uh, uh, these uh, six examples uh, are enough for you to answer the practice exercises. So find the derivative of the following. Find dy dx for the following. Number one, 3y squared equals 2x plus 1. Two, x cubed plus y cubed equals 6. Number three, x squared minus sine y equals 3x. Number four, 4x four squared y squared plus y equals x raised to 4. And number 5, y raised to 5 plus y cubed plus 3y equals e raised to x. Pause this video so that you will have more time in answering. And then you can reveal uh, the answers one by one and check your answers. Okay, number 1, the answer is 1 over 3y. So uh, you will have here the derivative of this is uh, 6y dy dx and then and here 2, so 2 over 6y. That's going to be 1 over 3y. Number 2, so the derivative of this is 3x squared, and then for this, 3y squared dy dx, and then 0. Put this on the other side, that's going to be 3x squared, or negative 3x squared over negative, a positive 3y squared, so that is negative x squared over y squared. Number three, the derivative of 2x is, uh, of x squared is 2x, and then minus, you will have here uh, cosine y dy dx equals 3. So you will have 3 minus 2x over negative cosine y. And then you will simplify it to this one. And then in number four, you need to apply the product rule. This will be the answer. And number five, you will have uh, this one. So the derivative of this is 5y raised to 4 dy dx plus 3y squared dy dx plus 3 dy dx equals e raised to x. So e raised to x over this one because you can factor out dy over dx. If you have any questions, you can comment on the comment section. And please like and subscribe to this channel. That's it for implicit differentiation. Bye!